Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 has been relatively stagnant over the last couple of sessions, failing to break above the 21 period SMA. Potential resistance still remains at 16.969. Potential support still remains at 16.738. Though, uh, to be honest, equities isn't really where most of the action is. Today, it's been out across the US dollar denominated FX pairs, and we'll come back to those in one second. UK 100 had quite a volatile session yesterday. You can see uh, by the end of yesterday's candle uh, that we were down fairly lower, uh, only to uh, to rally back up towards the end of the session, but still unable to break above 6774. Today's session looks relatively flat as well across most other global markets equity-wise. Japan 225 has uh, has recovered slightly from its uh, staunch sell-off it had there on Friday. That's Monday's candle right there. Um, potential support still remains around about uh, 49.77. Um, if we do get a move back to, up to the top end, we are looking at potential resistance at 15.478. Dollar yen has been pretty volatile though, as we'll see when we have a look at it right now. Um, uh, we are still bouncing around 101 spot 35. We're going to stay volatile on the end of day charts. It's looking a lot more volatile than it is right here. Um, this 101 spot 35 seems to be support in the short term. Next potential support is at 100 spot 80. Geopolitical concerns in Ukraine and Middle East still very much in play right now, and that's what's driving uh, the Japanese yen. And obviously, you're seeing a lot of uh, US dollar weakness. So, looking at crude oil West Texas, um, it bounced off potential support yesterday at 105. Um, that level is in, very, very important for crude oil uh, as the Iraqi forces still seem to be making progress against the uh, Sunni militants. Uh, and there's still battles raging into Crete right now as well. So, um, depending on how that pans out, uh, you could see some pressure on West Texas crude prices if the Iraqi government continues to make gains against ISIS rather than being in the bloody stalemate that they're in right now. So, gold, however, has uh, started to uh, to rally up again as uh, that US dollar weakness uh, adds a little bit of support to, to gold prices. Real strong session yesterday. We've actually got a doji formation right now. We just crept above 1332 there, which is potential resistance in, in the short term there, only get pushed right back down again. But a lot of things are in play right now for gold to support the prices, so keep your eye on that. Um, looking at euro dollar, I had a great session yesterday, uh, very bullish session, almost touched uh, one spot 3709. Uh, which is also where the 55 period SMA is. Uh, that's potential resistance. Uh, obviously, dollar weakness very much in, in play for that FX pair as well. We'll come on to the economic data releases in a second because we still have uh, German and European data due out today. Cable smashed it yesterday, uh, breaking above one spot 7044. That was the potential five and a half year resistance level. We're now trading above 171, which is fantastic for, for, for cable. Um, we'll need to go back a fair bit further to see where this is going to go. Matter of fact, let me just switch on to my weekly chart here, see if we can identify uh, where the next potential resistance is. And we're actually a, a fair bit away from there right now. We have to go probably to here, uh, which is a lot higher. So that's uh, one spot 75.12, uh, a long, long way to go uh, for GBP USD. So it's had a great run so far. And as long as it stays above one spot 7048, that's a proper technical breakout. So economic data wise, we've got German PMI, we've got Eurozone PMI, we've got German unemployment data, all due at 9 a.m. UK time. So a lot of important stuff coming. You've got a UK PMI at 930, so great for cable, great for Euro dollar. Um, you've got more employment data from the Eurozone, great for uh, Euro dollar uh, and Germany 30. And then at three o'clock, you've got a uh, US PMI, which will be big for uh, cable and your dollar again. So if you're, a tra if you're an FX trader, lots of big news today. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.